Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, The Spice of Life. That can be picked up at the community notice board in Gungaga Village. So let's go ahead and fast travel over there. Back in Gungaga. We're not only responsible for keeping people safe, but the chunk of those... Hello, Chadley. He does have some new combat challenges for us, so we'll have to do that at some point soon. But for now, we're doing our quest. The Spice of Life. The client is Cisne. Location, Gungaga Village, Cisne's house. Gungaga mushroom soup may seem like a simple dish to most people, but making it is harder than you'd expect. My attempts aren't coming together, and the flavor is always just a little bit off. I don't know if something's missing, or if I added one too many ingredients, or what. I'll take the job, Cisne seems like a nice person, and she let me use her house, so... We definitely should help. Don't forget to try some of our homegrown produce. Hi, Cisne. Oh, you look like you're having some issues. Cooking happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? <gasps> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. What will you say? Why does the kitchen look like a crime scene? The pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard, the onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. What's in the pot? Gungaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. What ingredients do you need? That's the problem. It needs something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms to do the trick. Or a hunk of captoir meat. Let's not. Fine, we'll help. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of this stuff for me? Morgan's produce is some of the best around, or so everyone says. When he comes to town, his stuff sells out quick. Torgan's produce is some of the best around, or so everyone says. Okay. When he comes to town, his stuff sells out quick. We need some of Torgan's produce. What a sweet boy you were, staying behind for me. You be good to Torgan now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's fields are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Follow Melon. Oh, Melon's fast. Back on the suspension bridge. I need to remember to go get that material over there. We'll come back later. We're following Melon. May as well get some materials. Oregano and marjoram. Wow, I'm already full on oregano? 
That's crazy. Alright, we got oregano and pearl ginger root. Can't pick up any of that stuff. Ancient bark. Yes, laurels are maxed out. Brutal. My boy, how'd it go today? Good. Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting. Yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff, but you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep, grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. Huh. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. <sighs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things grow on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your fur from getting all at it. The aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna wanna savor it. The proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Allow Melon to guide you to the salt deposits. All right, before we do that, let's talk to him some more. Quickest way to some Magunga mushrooms is to get yourselves a chocobo and ride on over to Magun Hill. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. The aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Quickest way to some Magunga mushrooms is to get yourselves a Hi, Melon. And ride Lead the way. Follow Melon to where you can gather salt. Yes. Go, Melon. Alright, we got oregano and sage there. Ancient bark and timber. Oh, protect melon and defeat the fiends. I'm on it. Took them out, HP up, materia improved, and let's follow Melon. Got Planet's Favor and Blessing there. Splendor, Oregano, and Sage. 
Oregano and Sage. Amethyst and Numinous Ashes. Marjoram and Oregano. And we got to protect Melon again. Oh, Ice Materia improved. We're getting Materia upgrades like crazy. Laurel and Mellow Oak. Mellow needs protecting again. We're on it. Alright, we've got a new enemy there. We're gonna assess it as soon as I can. Assess. That's do it right. All right, so it's a Gorgon Main, a rare clown, or a rare crown lance variant that has adapted to forested environments. It floats near Magonga mushrooms, feeding on the insects and smaller creatures drawn by the fungus's fragrance. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. It will also become pressured when attempting to cast spells while silenced. It cannot be attacked while flitting through the air, so patience is key. And weak to fire, which I believe we had on UV. You're in good hands now. Yep, let's blast it. Oh wait, ah, crap, I'm by you. Let's wait for that to stop moving around. Right. There we go. Blast it with fire. Let's do this. Pushing it. Give it your all. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought you'd be taking a hit to the face. Stagger it. Lead the way, Melon. Or are we here? Looks like we're here. You should be able to find the rock salt here. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these Automatch Torkins picture. Collecting Gungaga rock salt. Review the sketch Torgon has provided with left on the D-pad and press L1 to take a closer look. Seek out a deposit of a similar shape and color and mine the finest salt you can find. All right, use Torgon's drawing left on the D-pad to find the correct rock salts. So it looks like that and it's clearly this one right here. Collect this hunk of rock salt, yeah. Right, so we're gonna what a need gorgeous color. Almost feels like a waste to grind them up. We're gonna need three of those. So let's find some more. Grab these materials, numinous ashes and moss agate. So here's another one that matches our sketch. Yep, nailed it. Okay, we need one more. Let's go ahead and follow the water here. Take this around. And there should be one over here. There it is. I'd say that's the one we want. All right. I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Okay, ride your chocobo to Magon Hill to pick Magonga mushrooms. Well, hopefully uh, Melon will be okay heading back. I don't even see him anymore. I think he took off. So let's go to Magon Hill. We've actually been there before. It's right... Is this it? No, that's the secret gem. It's right here. So, fast travel. We 
got some oregano and sage there. Let's bring in our bird. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Use your chocobo sense of smell to find the next mushroom. All right, this way. Let's go. Ooh, big time air. All right, we need our senses again. There we go. I think we just beat the, the sense. Pick the Magonga mushrooms. Mushroom. Note its mushroom like qualities. Just gotta be very careful. Flucking Magonga Mushrooms. Flucking fungi requires not only a green thumb, but a delicate touch as well. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with the left stick. The portion with the most give should be tugged first, and the portion with the least should be tugged last. Find the correct order to cleanly pluck the mushroom from the ground. R2 is tug, select, circles cancel, and L2 plus R2 is pluck. All right, so this has um, three directions to test. So you can see we got a lot of maneuverability there. Also here, hmm, let's see, is this one more than that? No, I think this one's a little bit better, and then this one, and that's the least. So let's pick the top first, then Left and then right. All right, try it with L2 and R2. Perfectly plucked. More of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. All right, we need to find the next one. And we got a trap. Oh, didn't quite make it to the top there, but that's okay, we can run up. And we got two of these things. Here we go. Let us deal with that. You ready? You're for your up. You if you build that ATB. Right, let's see, we should be able to hit him with fire. Taking over. Got it. Okay, Matt, you take over. I'm your one. Actually, you know, right. Red's almost got ATB. Sidewinder. Alright, we got our next room. Found another one. Into the sack it goes. All right, so this one's got four directions. That one barely moves. That moves a lot. That one seems slightly less than top. Hmm, bottom and left seem about the same. I think left's a little less. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go top, bottom, left, and then right. Try it. Picking, Mr. Merck. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. All righty, one to go. Okay, we're going this way. this thing going it's going all over the place 
Alright, we're going up. Oh, and we got these again. Three this time. Here we go. I guess we may as well finish getting this ATB with Cloud. Uh, he's ready. I don't know if he can one shot. Let's see. Okay. Ow. Oh, we could. Oh, never mind. I was going to say we could synergy, but I was wrong. Right, let's see if this works on B. Oh, he's down for the count. All right, Yuffie's ready. You ready? Yuffie hit, uh, hit A, actually. Do me proud. My Red's ready. Got him. And we had some lightning materia improve. The third and final. Let's not mess this up. Alright, so this one's hard because there's five and it's just really hard to distinguish each one, but that... The top one's clearly the least, so we found that already. Left is pretty pliable. It's not bad. Ooh, that might be the most. Okay. Ooh, well, I don't know. Let's see, that goes that far. Ooh, I don't know, that's, that's kind of a toss up. They seem almost the same. And then right's not as... Okay, so clearly right, left, and then top for our last three. And then it's a question of whether this one or this one. I think, yeah, looking at it, I think the bottom right is slightly more. You can see it shift up just a little bit. So let's pick bottom right, bottom left, right left and then up let's try this think you got a future in farming that should be it for the mushrooms yep looks like we're done done let's get this stuff to Cisne all right we nailed it was not expecting to get that first try to be honest okay deliver the ingredients uh, although, while we're in this area, I wonder if we should get a location in here. Because I think we're actually close. Yeah, let me look around a little bit. I think we're we're close to, to a spot where we could fast travel back. It's kind of a pain to get up here. So let's try maybe going this way. Uh, well, that's just gonna shoot us out of here. Oh, yeah, I want to go over there. All right, so how do I get there? Let's see, maybe if I go down this way. It might not be possible to get there, though. It's not looking good. And let's see, can I go this way, maybe? Where's that dead end? That dead end. All right, well, let me just see where this mushroom takes us, and if it's not close, We'll just figure it out later. All right, that just sent me down to the ground. All right, let me try a couple jumps before we give up on this. Let me beat up these grand horns. You guys want some of this? We won't hold back. Ah! Brace yourself. Don't overdo it. Take over. Fire! Since they're right next to each other. Oh, good to go. Keep it together. Ready when you are. Let's see. Oh, got hit with that earth shake. Press. Let's 
That one's almost staggered. Let me get that. Wake up. Alright, back on our chocobo. Okay, so how are we getting up there? Well, maybe this way. Oh, wait, it might just leave me right there. Where well, might have found it? Is this the path? I think it is. Yes, it is. Sweet. So, let's see. Let's take this all the way to the top. This is Observation Tower. We got some uh, bosses there. Let's break them. And then we can climb up here. Actually, let me look inside first. Nothing in here. So, climb up. And we'll slide down. We got some more boxes. Grenade and high potion. You can see there's a chocobo stop over there, so we'll definitely get that and then we can come back. Alright, pick this up. Obtained a golden plume. Okay, let's go back to town. Enjoy your stay with us. And Chadley does have a new combat challenge, I think, so we'll do that after. What do you want from me? More heat? Oh boy, she's having fun in there. Yeah, that league's better. Oh boy. Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? Well, ask what she needs. I think Torgan said that chocobos can sniff out the Magunga mushrooms, and Melon will lead us straight to the salt. Remember? Give her all the ingredients you have. Three stars. We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. Always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. Half bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? Bomberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <sighs> Whoa there, might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. It's perfect. 
absolutely perfect. I just know the fairs are gonna love it. Great job! <laughs> It's probably not that tough. As for what next, maybe something easier. Might have burned down my kitchen if not for you. Thanks. As for what next, maybe something easier. All right, we completed our quest and we got some chakra materia earrings. So once again, we just are collecting materia earrings. We have so many. But well, we've got a uh, max rank chakra if we want it. All right, well, we're right next to Chadley. Let's go ahead and do his combat challenge. Cloud, I have news regarding the combat simulator. Thanks to the monster data you managed to collect, I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. Oh, and I could probably get some new material. Oh, definitely. Um, so let's pick up the Limit Siphon material. Allows you to absorb an ally's limit gauge to fill your own with Limit Siphon. Not sure if I'll be using this, but we'll take it. And then Synergy Support material. Slightly increases synergy when other party members use a synergy ability during battle. And it increases synergy by one when other party members use a synergy ability during battle. Boom. Okay, cool. We got all the material for this area. And combat simulator. Alright, so we have Gungaga Battle Intel Lethal Combo. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends capable of enfeebling prey with myriad ailments. And this will give spirit up materia. All right, we'll take the old trusty team of Cloud, Barrett, and Aerith. Ambushing, I somehow broke them out of it, but didn't pressure them. Weird, not sure how that worked. It's a bunch of froggies. Merit, you're up. All right, let's get rid of the uh, the named ones first because they're the nastiest. So maximum fury on that pastel amphidex. Cloud, you're back up. Oh, did Merit get frog? Because he did not use his ability. He might have. Braver! Smash. Oh, get away from me! Yep, I think we got Cloud Barrett over here. We sure do. All right, so we got the special variant frogs and the special variant uh, ambush dudes. I don't care too much about them. I just got to get rid of these frogs. Somehow just mis-aimed the braver, but it worked out. Let's make sure we don't mis-aim this one. There we go. You're up. All right, pressured him. Let's get a maximum fury on that frog. Oh, dang it, Barret! Barret likes being a frog, apparently. Cloud does not like being a frog. Oh, well, he left himself wide open for the braver. Focus thrust. You're done. Sorry. 
That's done. And can we do synergy? No, we can't. That's fine. I'm coming. Try an ambush. I dare you. Break yourself. I don't even need it. Let's take him down with bravers. Bravers smash. Alright, that's like a minute and 47 seconds. We got our spirit up material. Alright, so that's all of the currently available combat challenges. We do have one more to unlock in this region. So, we'll be back to Chadley soon. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. And you know what? Since we're over here, let's go grab that materia that we've been needing. The one over here on the bridge. Or near the bridge. Where's my chocobo? Hi, chocobo. So, that one over there. We are. That is warding materia. Good. We'll uh, need those potentially on certain fights. Okay, so let's go ahead and fast travel back to that stop that we made over, or that we discovered over here. And we'll go on Chocobo. Alright, now this is a very confusing area. Let's try not to get too lost. Uh, we do have a tower nearby. So maybe we go knock that out first. Let's see, that tower's over there. Yeah, let's go to, to the tower. Let's find a way down. Perhaps this way. Here we are. Anyone else think it'd be fun to climb one of those things? They're trying to replicate, never gonna work. Only the strong survive. All right, now this tower we're gonna have to jump up to, and I'm trying to remember where. Let's be on the lookout for mushrooms that could launch us. Maybe over here, oh. I hear a baby chocobo. Uh, well, hold on, baby chocobo. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh wait, no, this one we don't launch. We actually slide in, so the baby chocobo helped us. Because we need to go over here and slide over to the tower. Alright, break these boxes. Three Moogle medals, nice. Okay, activate it. We got a lot of stuff going on over here. So where to begin? Well, I guess we'll help the baby chocobo first. Let's go, baby chocobo. This up for him. Sure. 
He's so excited. Okay, now from here, let's actually go over here. Oh, we got an owl trying to lead us to a life spring. Perfect. Launch up here. Oh, I'm super lost now. Good thing we have the owl. Okay, now I recognize the area. Alright, lead me, Al. I need help. Wow, he's taking me a long way. Surprised he was active that far away. Right, into the water. And here we are, maybe? Here we are. Excavation Intel 2, the Wild Grove Ruins. Not too far from here. Okay, well, you can see that we were uh, pretty close to our scenic spot, so let's go try to find that next. In fact, it's on my compass. Uh, let's try this way. Let's see if we can navigate this. I think we want to go up here. Yep, this is leading us there. Or, well, it's leading us out, actually. But I think it's okay, because we want to go over here. Yep, this is it. We found the scenic spot. Oh, and there's some buried treasure here. A single rabbit did it, I guess. Mithril or kind of whatever. Okay, take the photo. Right, share your scenic photo with Snaps. We are so gonna outrank that dude. Okay, now we're close to that classified intel, the Sultan of Stench. Go check that out, it's right in here. This is it, Cloud. We've arrived at the Great Marlboro's Domain. As I'm sure you've surmised from the aroma, olfactory risk level, high. Okay, how are we doing on health? Uh, Cloud could use a little bit. I got you, Cloud. May as well go through some of these potions. Oh, I just realized how low Yuffie's HP is, but she should be okay. So, as usual, with these uh, stronger enemies, you gotta hold down triangle to engage. He's here, and he's mad. Alright, this is the Great Marlboro. These grotesque fiends live in Gungaga's jungles and boast countless tentacles springing from their heads. 
From their giant maws, they, spew, they spew corrosive liquid and the most acrid of breath. Exposure to Mako has made them bigger, uglier, and stinkier. Shattering their mouth will make them susceptible to staggering and prevent them from using bad breath. If left unchecked, bad breath will steadily increase in potency. Its mouth will regenerate after a certain amount of time. I actually don't know what that's talking about. I've never seen a mouth to attack, but anyways, I just I just go for raw damage. Alright, so, uh, Reds of Frog, or whatever the heck he is. Uh, we could try to cure him. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Do I have... Well, I guess I could Maidens kiss him. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want him to be a frog. So, Maidens kiss on Red. That is Toad, right? I can't tell. Well, I think it is. Let's You're try. welcome. Yep, he's back. He's so tiny, it's hard to tell. Alright, Art of War! Don't let me down. Actually, let's stay on you. you <laughs> Tentacle World! Oh, I was slow on the trigger there. Oh, that debuffed us. Nasty. Alright, uh, Yuffie, let's have you cure, uh... I guess yourself. Never count a ninja out! Red, you're up. Get your breath. Look out. I kept we aimed it over there where nobody is. Uh, I need some vengeance. I guess. Oh, his mouse here. Oh, I've never actually seen the mouth before. This is new. Uh, well, we could have Yuffie and Cloud Maelstrom strike it and raise their limit levels at the same time. Oh, the mouth went away. Never mind. Well, we could still synergy. Screw it. We'll synergy. Why not? Carried away. It's over. Ah, oh, jeez. What just happened to me? Let me down. Uh, I'm gonna have oh, test bite. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, he ate red. I've never even seen that before. All right, well we should be able to get him out with a stagger. I would imagine. We're almost at the stagger, so let's do out of war. Oh wow, we actually didn't get red back. All right, well that sucks. Um, we're gonna have a summon soon. Let's have Cloud do Infinity's End. Let's push the Yuffie. Out of War. Probably get an extreme Out of War in. Maybe. Nah, maybe not. Right. Supreme Out of War now. Back to Cloud. We're just gonna. Oh! Fetid Haze. He's doing all sorts of stuff I've never seen him do before. Doing fetid haze again. I feel like I should get away. No, maybe not. All right, let's just fight through it. Okay. Your victory was inspiring, Cloud. That malodorous monstrosity has been sent back to the jungle depths from whence it came. That's a considerably rare material, Cloud. I suspect it will prove useful in crafting new creations. I suggest you hold on to it. Alright, well, I suppose uh, when I found him before, I just obliterated him because he didn't do half of that stuff. But anyways, he's got some interesting things that he can do. Um, look like the end. If you're a little slow, you're going to have to take him out before he just... 
slowly whittles away at your health with that aura thing that he put up. Uh, let's get some healing in. That should be good enough. Alright, let's continue exploring and let me look at the intel for that. Let's see... That was classified intel, the Sultan of Stench. You obtained biological data on the Great Marlboro, a flora most foul dwelling deep in the jungle. This carnivorous plant's wicked breath paralyzes all on its path, turning afflicted creatures into, into prey. Okay, let's go. these guys. Deal with that. Oh, he's been replicated. He might be successful. Never mind, I stopped. Him. Okay, this way. Oh, we're coming up on that excavation site. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're back at the tower. And then I think, yeah, we wanna climb up here. Up in these uh, ruins. Excavation spot. Okay, so there's three transmuter chips here. Appears to be in here. Oh, actually, I know this one. This one's up top. So we want to go out here, go up the stairs, and then should be right here. So we got armor upgrades eight. You can now transmute an enhanced outlaw bangle and crocodile bracelet. Sweet. Okay, so we got another chip nearby. Over here. We got immunity accessories, a jeweled ring and white cape. Let me find the last one. In here. Oh, we got enemies. Take the lead. All done. Oh, just one. Poor flower. He's just in here minding his own business, and then we came and whooped him. All right, so we got Mar Marlboro Orb. So we can make Planet Splendor and Marlboro Orb. We dug up everything. All right, so let's check out these new item transmute things. We can make Planet Splendor, a mysterious embodiment of the planet's grace. That is three venison and five oregano. I guess we may as well. Okay, made a bunch of those and nothing else that we can craft here. 
Can't make new armor. Armor upgrades, though. We can make an enhanced crocodile bracelet. That is 23 physical defense and 50 magic defense. Enhanced grade 7, a new and improved version of the crocodile bracelet. And that takes 10 exquisite beast spines, and we've got a ton of those now. Jeez. All right. We made that. And we need more hides to do the outlaw bangle. As for accessories, we can make a, a Malboro orb. A shimmering sphere that contains the potent pungence of the infamous Malboro. So that takes two rubies, two emeralds, two sapphires, and a great Malboro tendril, which we just got. Extends duration of detrimental status effects applied to foes. Reduces duration of detrimental status effects inflicted on the wearer. So kind of interesting, but I don't know. We'll see if it's super good or not in the future. But either way, we made it, so we have it. We can also make a jeweled ring. A ring inlaid with an azure stone that protects the wearer from petrification. So that's five moss agate, one sapphire, and one mithril ore. Grants immunity to petrify and stone. Could be good. And we can also make a white cape, but we don't have the beast hides for that. Oh, and did I ever equip that? Yeah, the full throttle wrist guards, I did. I didn't equip it. All right, good. Just want to make sure Cloud was wearing it. Okay, so let me get my bearings here. I think we want to go this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. Yep. We've got um, Divine Intel. Not mistaken, we go up these stairs. Oh, did I just hear a chocobo? I heard something. Kind of sounded like a chocobo, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and smash this. As many local residents would attest, Kujata can harness and wield the elements of fire, ice, and lightning. Furthermore, it can strike down its foes with the combined might of all three. A shocking, chilling, and burning attack. We got enemies in the way. Ooh, ATB boost material improved. I should be using that more than I have been. Totally didn't use it in the mob war fight. Right, and we got a cache location here, the Forested Ruins. Two treasure. Let's see, boxes there. We had an antidote and a Moogle Metal. We got more boxes right here. We got a Moogle Metal and a grenade. We have a chest. Mist Mega Potion. I thought the chest was out here, but it's not. Maybe it's in here? Maybe it is out there. Did I miss it somehow? I think I did. All right. I think I did miss it somehow. Oh, well, we got more bosses. Oh, there it is, over there by the tree. Um, bad aim with this choker bell. There we go. Broke those boxes, but got nothing and our treasure. If I could get it open, it's being stubborn. Come on, treasure. Come on. There we go. We got a Phoenix draft, and this cash location is complete, and we're very close to the Kujata Sanctuary. Up and up we go. Up. Is it over here? Maybe it's, oh, I gotta climb. 
Sorry, bird, you can't come. Right, we got more boxes. High potion inside. Almost there. Oh, thought that was a box. Never mind. We made it. Attempt to analyze the Kujata crystal. Yes. We got circle, X, circle, circle, square, circle. Circle, X, circle, circle, square, circle. Kujata materia is maxed out. And I actually can bring my bird up here. Let's go, bird. And uh, hold on, was there a fast way out of here? There is a fast way out of here. Launch me! Alright, sweet. Now where the heck am I? <laughs> I think I want to go this way. We're trying to get to the uh, Fiend Intel, which is on my compass, so we're pretty close. I think, okay, so this is the excavation area, I think. So yeah, we wanna go this way. And it's down below, okay, I know where I am. Maddened by Mako. We're in dangerous territory now. Grand Horn detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. The reactor disaster had a profound influence on the local ecosystem, including this particular breed. Prolonged exposure to Mako has reduced their impulse control. Unlike most Grand Horns, this variant lacks a sense of community, invading and upending territory belonging to others. The long-term effects of Mako poisoning on both flora and fauna are still not fully understood. But the world needs to know I hope you'll assist me in the investigation. All right, defeat all nearby enemies, pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, defeat within the time limit. I believe in you. Wait for him to drop his guard. All right, why well, pressure him? It's easy. Let's assess. That's you was right. Uh, Savage Grandhorn, a bipedal creature found deep within the jungles of Gungaga. Overexposure to Mako from the nearby reactor has brought out a bestial ferocity in it. It controls plants to restrain its prey. It periodically restrains the target with Earthbound, but these binds can be broken by staggering the creature. Attacking it twice while it is guarding will cause it to counterattack, although its guard will reflect ranged attacks, hitting it with powerful abilities to pressure it in its weak fire. Finish off that stagger. Try. Oh, it's earthbound. It got cloud. Not that it matters because he's gonna be loose in a second. Braver. Alright, can do that, Yuffie. Art of War. 
and Supreme Art of War. Pressure. Right, how long we got? We got a minute and 21 seconds. Go for it. I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough to finish him here. Not quite. Came a little shy, but Red, you got this. Sidewinder. Yeah, throw that at me. Ah, you jerk. Chadley with the power move. All right, so we got that intel. Let's take a look. That is Fiend Intel 4, Maddened by Mako. You obtained biological data on the Savage Grandhorn, a rare variant of the Grandhorn. The explosion at the Gungaga reactor exposed these creatures to intense amounts of Mako, thus educing their latent bestial tendencies. All right. Let's see. From here, let's go this way. Oh, and we do have a baby chocobo here. Oh, he's going this way. All right, baby chocobo, lead the way. All right, hold on. Let me actually use these to heal. Oh, I guess I didn't need much healing. Oh, well. You'll take him down. Oh, it's over. All right, baby chocobo, lead the way. Let me break these boxes. Nothing in them. Okay, we got the chocobo stop here. And we have our fourth proto relic location. Bunch of enemies right here. Bring it. Alright, so I believe it's in there, but let's take a look around this area first. Oh, not on Chocobo. Alright, so where are we? We got boxes. Nothing there. We got more boxes. Nothing there. Now this over here actually leads to the airstrip, but it can only be opened from this side, so let's just open that up. So if we want to take that path in the future, we can. Let's see what else we have around here. Boxes, cushion, and mega potion in them. Go down below, but I don't see anything down there. Yep, nothing there. Those bosses had two cushions. I think that's it. 
Alright, let's head down. Uh, this way. Oh, and more boxes. Phoenix down, local metal, and grenade. Nothing in those boxes. And here we are. Here's hoping you survive. But aren't they friends? How can they go from BFFs to shoot to kill just like that? Probably got to be pretty ruthless to make it as a Turk. Rude and Elena have defected. Interesting. Begin the training exercise, yes. So let's see. He's weak to arrow, and she's weak to lightning. Let's get a, let's get rid of Elena first because she's the much easier one. I think I don't ah, she's got up your sleeve. Good thing too. Don't want to be a couple of pushovers. Ah, she's hit by that. All right. Does Yuffie have lightning? I don't think anyone has lightning, unfortunately. So we'll just do Art of War on her. Take it. Oh, that pressure. Is <laughs> the scream she makes is so awful. Uh, let's see. He's doing, he's doing triple shockwave. We actually want to watch out for that. It's pretty nasty. And Cloud is mostly going to be our healer. Watch out for that triple shockwave. So, Cloud, heal. It's on you. Red, you're up. Hey, uh, let's go do Art of War before it's too late. I can use items in here. I didn't think I could use items. Okay, apparently I can use items. Could even call up Avalanche. Turn it into a joint retreat. Uh, please tell me. All right, Yuffie's getting her butt kicked. Let me get some ninjutsu on her so she can heal. She's doing grenade kicking now. Watch out for that. Oh, got me. I got this. All right, well, I can't do a summon. Perhaps I should. If I could do Titan. I don't remember what everyone else has. Yuffie has... Oh, Yuffie has Titan. What's Cloud have now? Did I give Cloud Kujana? Wait, they both have Titan? Or am I just dumb? Oh, I might be dumb. Oh, that's the wrong thing. She has Shiva, and Red has... I don't know, because he doesn't have VATB. Let's have Yuffie heal herself, but let's get her out of there first. She's too close. So, heal yourself, Yuffie and Red. Let's get you some ATB so I can remember who you've got for your... What's the point of it all? For your, Ow! Attack went dead. Alright, what summon do you have? Oh wait, he's got Alexander. Alexander's a good choice. Let's get him to max. Right, attack me. No time to waste. Rogue stance. I don't actually know what that does. 
Alright, Clown, why don't you go ahead and heal us? Oh, watching him do that. Stalwart stands. Get away from me. Ow. My butt kick. I'm just trying to get Alexander in here. There we go. All right. Alexander's coming, finally. Fight at our side. Alexander is here. You're up. Here I go. Get lost. Hey. All right. All right. Let's get rid of Elena. I'm tired of looking at her. Explosions everywhere. Just listen. Can't you hear the ocean calling? Mm, let's do a synergy ability. We'll do. Um, We'll do Maelstrom Strike. Let me get over there, though. Maelstrom Strike on Elena. Where'd you run? Oh, pressure brood. Oh, pressure the bow. All right, let's get rid of Elena. God, that scream. It's awful. Oh, nasty. All right, did we take her down? No. Oh, crap. Dang it. We could have. Uh, Cloud, do ascension on Rude. Keep it up. I'll end this. Is there time? Yeah, there's time for Sidewinder. And then you, if we can do Art of War. All right, Elena's gone. Let's do Kira on Cloud. Rude's almost. Rude's almost staggered. No holding back. Hey, he guards too much. Oh, Alexander's gonna blast him. Divine judgment. That did a little bit of damage. Got the stagger. Hit him with Infinity's End. Let's have Yuffie and... Oh, wait. I can't do those two. Okay, that's fine. Infinity's in. Red, just do some damage here. And then we'll have Yuffie and Cloud do Savage. Or Yuffie and Red do Savage Assault. But wait, just a second. Alright, now they can do it. And wow. control Yuffie. The Finish him off. Man, Rude's a pain in the butt. Will you go down already? Braver. Mission complete. Well done. You've proven yourselves to be born Turks. Wow, what an honor. We Turks fight as one, but our duty may require us to sever our binding ties. Which is precisely why. Huh? Who's there? Confirming personnel data. ID GAI 153. Affiliation General Affairs Auditing. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? 
Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. GAI-153? Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait, are you a term? <sighs> That'll be enough probing. For my benefit, but mainly for yours. It was enough of a pain to cover up the mess you made at the reactor. Try not to cause any more trouble, okay? Sorry. Won't happen again. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello? You good? Hey, Chadley. What happened to the proto-relic? Oh, forgive me. And there. Incredible. It appears that by restoring the fragmented data, we were able to break the Proto Relic's encryption. Uh, translation? The potential applications are practically limitless. By converting matter into data distributed across a secure network, shielded from external interference, one could preserve said data indefinitely. So is it real? Like, can I touch it? Oh, of course! Behold, the Proto-Relic in its restored glory. returns beneath the moonlight in victory shall I revel my Genji Chadley <laughs> none other after analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually Virtually. Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh my! This is simply fascinating. <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Such impudence! A rotten display of disrespect! Blows of ah! wealth! Die! Why? What did I say? This will not stand! Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me, I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there was, that is. I presume it was another dimension. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. All right, we got all of the world intel in Gungaga. Let's check out our most recent one, Phenomenon Intel 4, The Deadliest Game. For his final VR mission, Cloud must snuff out a pair of rogue Turks who have betrayed the organization. 
He and his allies emerged from the battle triumphant and managed to reassemble the encrypted proto-relic data. Okay, and don't forget your chest because it's got a really nice reward. That would be a rank three prayer materia. So now we have two. Claude's had the only one the entire game, but now we could put one on somebody else if we so desire. But anyways, let's go ahead and fast travel back to town. Chadley has a combat challenge for us, and we need to talk to Snaps about the photo we took. Welcome to Gungaga, where you can taste the bounty of our beautiful planet. I'm happy to report that your survey of the Gungaga region is complete. Your discoveries have me all the more convinced that humans have the capacity to coexist with nature. It was also edifying to observe how the planet so decisively reclaimed the reactor. Thank you again for providing such priceless insight. Okay. Combat simulator. So we have Gungaga Battle Intel Distant Tremors. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends who possess strength enough to fell even the jungle's sturdiest trees in a single stroke. And this will give elemental materia. Very nice. Let's do Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. Oh, we got two big boys. Savage Grandhorns. They're blocking, jerks. Let me through. Actually, hold on. We could just switch to Barret. Oh, Barret, you take care of that. Oh, oh, I was worried it was too slow, but we're not. We're good. Oh, he's earth banding somebody already. Well, Cloud's out. Alright, so we're gonna have to stagger this dude in order to get Cloud out. So let's have her do Fyra. Alright, well this is annoying. He's gonna be stuck there forever. Actually, does Barret have any spells? Oh, Barret has fire, nice. Oh, he's got Firaga. Ah, we'll just do Fyra. Do it there. Ah! Oh. oh no! Dang it! Uh, it's just bear it. Well, this sucks. But we can hit him with a focus shot. That'll help. There we go. We got Cloud loose. Oh no, we got Aerith loose. Oh, we got them both loose. Nice. I was not expecting that. Alright, well, while we stagger, let's just get rid of him because he's going to be annoying. Fire up for him. Cloud, smack him with a braver. Oh, that's some good damage. Not going to be able to quite finish the job, but close. Right, you're up. Hit him. That was so much damage. Can't use items in here, can we? Dang it. Well, hopefully Barrett gets revived after this round. Let's do a summon. Oh, she can bring Kujata in. All right, bring Kujata in. Sorry, I know it's sudden. Kujata is here. Oh, and she's gonna, or he's gonna bind Aerith. That's rude. All right. Shit. Where's that earthquake? Oh, this is annoying. I hate fighting these guys. Sorry. 
Oh, nice interrupt on him, Kujana. All right, we staggered him, so now Aerith is free. Let's do Infinity's End, switch to Aerith. Maybe she can get a fire off in time. Yep. She's got it. Type to Cloud. Ooh, that was a big hit. All right, did we get Barrett back? I hope so. I can't believe I lost Barrett. Barrett's back, good. All right, this one's annoying, but not as bad as the Sandstorm Drake's. Have him max fury. Aerith, I want to heal. One more shot. Get him. Aerith, do a cura on Barret. Can you take over for me? Barret's probably the best one for me to control. Let's see maximum fury. Actually, we should probably have Aerith just do an arrow. I need to think about that. I think they're weak to it, right? Yep, they're weak to arrow. Alright, she's gonna do Aurora on A. Pressured. Finish that off. Focus thrust. No problem. Smashed it. Alright, Aerith, you're up again. That was amazing. Smack him. Pressured, focus thrust. Oh, that was not that great. Uh, we got Oh, and round three, we gotta deal with these annoying velociruses or whatever they're called. Oh, he got pressured for like a second. Oh, bulldoze me. Right, probably best to do lifesaver here. They're weak to they're weak to fire. Aerith, build some ATB. This Let's smack him with some major fire. Arcane Ward. Oh, got a bulldozer me. Let's block that. Get away from me! Ah. Right, I gotta get back to my ward. Okay. Fire on B. Fire yeah, I'm really surprised he hasn't tried to to concentrate yet. Need help? Oh, now, of course, right when I use my ATB, he concentrates. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break him out of it, unfortunately. Let's see. We'll have Barret do maximum fury. Oh, he's totally going to heal. Dang it. Can't break him out. Oh, that barely healed for anything. I don't care. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly acceptable heal. Alright, Red's getting a little low. Let's have Aerith heal. Oh, Aerith, hurry up. I want a Kiraga. On Barrett. Hurry up, hurry up. Alright, just in time. Woo! <laughs> Hang back. Alright, let's finish this dude off. He's annoying. Oh, come on! Ah, jeez, so much damage. 
All right. Um, Aerith and Cloud, finish him off, please. Okay, they're doing that. They're going to get pounded, but I think that's okay. Barret can do chakra on himself. Oof, that hurt. Well, Aerith's limit breaks is ready now. And he's dead. Alright, Aerith. Oh, well, I didn't actually want that, but I guess we're doing it. And then Cloud, you do... Ascension on him. And Barret, you just heal a little bit. Actually, Barret, don't heal. Damn it. Maximum fury. And there you have it. Alright, that took four minutes and 43 seconds, and we got our elemental materia. Alright, that is all of the combat challenges that are currently available. You made short work of that simulation. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Okay, and snaps, we got the photo. This must be one of Gengaga's famous. Share your scenic photo with Snaps, yes. Hey there, thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association, your talents are inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. You are this now a Vogue photographer. Only ever seen them in preserves. What a beautiful color. Alrighty, so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.